Section 7.4 is on properties of exponents. We've already seen two properties already in section 7.2 and 7.3. The product property for exponents is that x to the m times x to the n is x to the m plus n. In the raising of product to a power property it says that xy to the n is the same thing as x to the n times y to the n. Let's simplify a couple examples in example 1 here. 5a to the 4th b squared times 3a to the 5th b to the 4th is 15a to the 9th b to the 6th. And we have negative 3tw to the 4th. Negative 3 to the 4th is a positive 81. t to the 4th and w to the 4th. 3x cubed times negative 4x to the 6th will be negative 12x to the 9th. Power expression is an expression that contains one or more powers. I know that a power expression is simplified if it contains no parentheses. If in any monomial term a base appears at most once, for example, if you have x cubed with x to the fifth, you would simplify it to x to the eighth. And if you have a numerical expression such as uh, 5 squared, it's been calculated and simplified, such as 25 for 5 squared, and any fraction that you have has been simplified. In an example where you have x to the fifth divided by x to the third, we can simplify this by writing it out and noticing that you can divide off three of the x's from both the top and the bottom, giving you x squared left over. Now, from the exponent five and three, if you subtract off the three you're canceling, five minus three is two. So we can conclude that this simplifies by subtracting the powers. This gives us the quotient property for exponents. If m and n are whole numbers and x is non-zero, then x to the m divided by x to the n is x to the m minus n. Let's use that property to simplify. For example a, we're going to reduce these fractions and use the quotient property for exponents. 6 divided by 9 is going to reduce to 2 thirds. And x to the 7th over x to the 4 will reduce to x to the 3rd in the numerator. 4 over 6 will also reduce to 2 thirds x to the 9th over x to the 7th reduced to x squared, and y to the 5th over y squared reduced to y to the 3rd. In part c, 20 over 15 will reduce to 4 thirds, and a to the 8th over a to the 6th will reduce to a squared, b to the 5th over b will reduce to b to the 4th. We know that 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the second power is 4, 2 to the first power is 2. So as you're going down the list and decreasing the exponent by 1, you're dividing by 2 each time. Therefore, it makes sense that 2 to the 0, reduce the exponent by 1 more, will be 2 divided by 2, or 1. 2 to the 0 is 1. The 0 exponent property says that for any non-zero x, x to the 0 power is 1. So 7 to the 0 power is 1. 3xy squared to the 0 power is 1. And 2 times 7x over y to the 0 power is 2 times 1, or 2. Here's another property. If you have x over y to the third, that's x over y times x over y times x over y, or x cubed over y cubed. So your quotient raised to a power you can simplify that as x to the n over y to the n. In example a, we have x to the fifth over y to the fifth. In example b, we have x to the third over 4 to the third. Or, since 4 to the third is 64, we can simplify this to x to the third over 64. The next property, if I have x squared to the fourth, that's x squared times x squared times x squared times x squared or 2, 4, 6, 8, x to the 8th. So I can see that if I have two powers stacked on top of each other, I multiply them. So if I have a power raised to a power, like x to the m to the nth, that's x to the m times n. If I simplify an example 5, x to the 3rd to the 5th becomes x to the 15th, and b to the 4th to the 7th becomes b to the 28th. Here's a summary of some exponent rules a to the fourth times a squared is a to the sixth. When the bases are multiplied, add their exponents.
The rule in symbols would be b to the m times b to the n is b to the m plus n. The next rule, x to the fifth over x to the second is x to the third. When bases are divided, we subtract their x. The rule is b to the m over b to the n is b to the m minus n. If you have x, y to the fourth, that's x to the fourth, y to the fourth. The rule is that if you have a product inside of a power, you can distribute the power to both parts of the product. If you have b, c to the n, that rule would look like b to the n, c to the n. If you have r over s to the third, we're going to get r to the third over s to the third. Similar to the last one, if you have a power and a quotient, the power is going to go to both parts of the quotient. That rule looks like b to the n over c to the n. If you have y to the fourth to the third, that's going to be y to the twelfth. When raising a power to a power, you multiply the powers. So the rule is that b to the m to the n is b to the m times n. Note that all of these rules apply only to multiplication and division. They do not apply to any additional or subtraction problems. Look at example six. If you have four to the third times four to the fifth, it'll give you four to the eighth, or four to the eighth simplifies as 65,536. If you have three x to the fifth, y squared to the third, that's going to give you three to the third, which is 27 times x to the fifth to the third is going to be x to the fifteenth and y squared to the third is going to be y to the sixth. In part c, if you have five x to the sixth y times the quantity three x cubed y to the fifth squared, we can simplify that quantity first to nine x to the sixth y to the tenth. So we get forty five x to the twelfth times y to the eleventh. Let's look at part d. Let's first take care of the parentheses. In the first one, we're going to have b to the fifteenth times c to the sixth. In the second parenthesis, we're going to have b to the twentieth times c to the fortieth. When we combine those all together, we're going to have b to the thirty-fifth times c to the forty-sixth. Let's look at the next page. Example 6 continue. Let's simplify. I've got a fraction here. I want to reduce those values. So 12 divided by 8 is going to reduce to 3 over 2. And if I combine the x's in the numerator, that's going to give me x to the 8th over x squared. And finally, we're going to reduce the x's. So we're going to end up with 3 over 2 being the numeric coefficients. And when I reduce the x's, I'm going to be left with x to the 6th. In part f, Let's go ahead and apply the fourth power to everything. It's going to give us x to the twentieth over eight to the fourth, which is four thousand ninety-six y to the fourth. In part g, this will be four to the third, which is sixty-four, over x to the seven times three is twenty-one. Three to the third is twenty-seven y to the size 15, and w to the third. In part h, we're going to have negative 3 f to the fourth times 7 to the third is 343, f to the sixth, g to the 21st, and negative 3 times 343 is going to give us negative 1029, f to the four plus six will be f to the 10th and g to the 21st. Let's look at the last two, part i. Let's go ahead and reduce our fraction before applying the second power here. So it's going to be 3 over 4 when I reduce 6 and 8, a to the 3rd, b to the 3rd, c to the 5th, all squared, 3 squared is 9, a to the 3rd, third squared will be a to the sixth, b to the third squared will be b to the sixth, over four squared is sixteen, and c to the fifth squared will be c to the tenth. In part j, let's simplify first the power on a parenthesis. x to the third to the third will be x to the ninth, y to the third, times x to the fourth, y to the fifth. 
over xy squared. If I simplify the numerator, we have x to the ninth times x to the fourth is x to the thirteenth. y to the third times y to the fifth is y to the eighth over xy squared. And our final answer, x to the thirteenth reduces with x to give me x to the twelfth and y to the eighth reduces with y squared to give us y to the sixth. And that's it for this section.